What's up guys, it's Lucky it's Chris here. Welcome back to another Sims of our video and today we're gonna be looking at some of the changes made by patch 3.51. Okay, so the first one is the transmog pack. As we see, they made a lot of nice changes to it. You can watch some of the other videos made by Jubego and they show some of the animations for them. So we're just gonna be looking at them quickly, just going over. So Brownie Magician, um, I probably won't buy any of them this time just because the majority of them I do not have and I probably only have a few. So the most I do have are Brownie Magicians. I have a Corona, um, a Gemini, and an Orion. So looking at this, it looks pretty nice. I like the animations. Uh, they did pretty well on them. This is something that Island Grown would like um, since he's from Hawaii, um, another part of the, of the states. Um, I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm in California, so it's very close to where I'm at, but looking pretty nice. Um, I think this one's worth. Um, the animation's pretty great. They put a lot of time into the animations for the or the brownie magicians, okay? The Kung Fu girls, they look nice, but the only thing is when I was looking at the animations, they seemed kind of not as too different than the original. I feel like they could have done a little bit more for it and just overall improve the animation, okay? Um, the oracles, they look very nice, um, very well done, very well done on Comptuous's part. Um, they're very nice on the way they put, how do you say, the after effect of the flowers, which would be really nice as a reward for RTA, but it's highly unlikely they'd be doing that. Um, but very nice, very, very nice. Then we have RC era, nice iteration um, from the original look. I do like Gianna's look. She is, wow, she looks amazing. I think the Desert Queen and her, so these ones were, I feel like uh, like the top three, obviously the Nat Fives and then the Brownie Magicians are worth. So Coke Girls, uh, I like how they animated Little Bear. It's pretty nice there. Um, so you actually see them in the anima animations when they are doing their attacks. So that is pretty cool. Um, looking at Annabelle, she's going to be the one that's going to be the most utilized monster out of all of them. Um, just that monster that everyone is looking to get, the most desired. Um, and one people would be trying to transmog, I, I think this one's, this lolly look is actually pretty nice with the little bear. The Desert Queens look amazing. They did a fantastic job. Um, just a little awkward on the wording there um, for our, for the US people. Nice. Very nice with this. Um, very well done with um, the way they portrayed the hairstyle and the animations light. Um, but it does do well to help um, her look. So that's really well. I really like this one. Okay, so let's get to the main aspect of this update, which is going to be focusing um, primarily, my focus primarily is for you guys, beginners, that are looking to use this as an opportunity to improve your monster box for completing the dungeons. Okay, so we're talking about GP10 here. So let's look at Bernard. Bernard slow. So if we are focusing on GP10 and we're a starter player, um, we can look at this. So the normal UI, um, and then we're looking at this management thing. So it looks a lot a little if you're not used to the game it probably doesn't look too different but it still nonetheless um, has a lot of features that you might not know okay so I mean I'm gonna be here to help you figure out what this is so great so first of all so I like this UI it shows off your slot 1 slot 2 slot 3 slot 4 slot 5 and slot 6 okay so first off we're gonna be looking at first round so you have a current set which is initially on there and your after set okay so just remember when you're gonna be replacing these root and you'll be putting apply none of these runes will be destroyed so remember that so plus for you beginner players just um, and then you could you can sell those those runes that you took off if you want to if you feel like there's no use for them anymore. Um, just remember that um, you won't be destroying any runes when you're replacing them. Um, just be careful when removing your mana the mana cost because you never know how much efficiency you're gonna be losing from that. Okay. So first off, let's be looking at Swift. So we want Swift sets. We gotta make sure we're getting the most out of Swift sets. And first, we're gonna be looking at slot two speed. Okay. So we're gonna take off all of this. So we see here, 
we have so we're gonna look at for a six star max six star rune hopefully we can find one so we're gonna put this one on so this engraved temporarily so this is just gonna show you um, what you have here when it comes to replacing possibly and looking at the stats here so let's engrave temporary and see what happens okay so great we already have shown changes so look at right here just by putting that rune on there we see an increase in speed by three percent increase in hp and increase in attack as well as in accuracy which is great okay so we've done with slot two let's let's move on to slot one um as another focus do we have any swift runes we can look at for slot one no we don't but we need to always remember to change it all when we're looking at that. So our main, when we're looking at our booster, which is Bernard, we want to be focusing on a substat property of speed. So you have multiple options um, when it comes to this, and um, it reset. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be looking at this again um, when it comes to the measure of looking for those stats so let's get right in here back into here um minor disconnect issue but yeah so when we're looking at a monster like bernard we want to be focusing on that substat property of speed making sure he's able to get um, the most out of his third skill and most about out of that speed buff he's going to be providing for our allies especially when we're a beginner player and we are trying to complete the gb10 dungeon because that's kind of our mission we need to improve our runes um let's say we're farming gb7 and we've been farming there for a couple weeks now we have over 400 300 runes um, that are new and we're looking to improve our monsters to get to that next floor that next level just so we can reach that gb10 floor okay so looking at that we would be able to Go into our rune optimizer, which is a great UI, great um, utility um, that Comptos has given us. Um, so talking about this um, utility of rune optimizer, this is something that our end game, late game players have already been utilizing in their game, which is out of Summer's War. So they're the individuals that are probably be most um, familiar with this. So we're back into the game here. Sorry for the crash. It usually happens. Um, if you've been on my streams, uh, they usually happen like that. Um, so sorry for that. Um, we're going to go back to Bernard right here and we're just going to be looking at his runes again. We're going to go back to that optimizer and see did we have any changes? Was it left? Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to put that swift rune on that we saw. So we're going to change it to speed. We want speed right here. We want to take off the subs that make sure everything's refreshed to all once it has actually taken place. So we're going to slot two and we're putting on uh engraved temporary for orion so we're gonna put that on right there and we saw that we do get our three plus speed and we're gonna take this off right here and we're gonna focus on our one so we're gonna go in order from one two three four we already completed two kind of went like a little off on the trail over there but um let's change it back to all right because we're not focused on um actually the stats for um, one, three, and four, five. Okay, so for the main stats, it doesn't really matter for one, three, and five because they're all the same. Um, we're going to be looking at sub properties. So this is our main focus: the sub property. Hopefully, nothing happens as we are looking for our sub property. Okay, so looking at this monster, nine speed, twenty-five speed. So that's a great, that's a great rune right there. So that's already twenty-five speed. Let's see if we engrave this right here. Let's engrave that. So we come up with 13 speed over, which is great. That's gonna give us a lot of utilization there on that speed. Um, so that's already plus three right there. Um, and now we're gonna be looking at two, at our three, okay? So speed, can we find another speed? So we're looking at Swift right now, uh, just making sure we get that Swift set on there first um, as a priority. Can we find something higher than the speed that we initially have? So you can also look at the other speed, um, what you have on here. Okay, so we couldn't really find a swift rune with a uh, more efficient speed. Uh, there's, there's this 12 right here, so we can temporarily engrave this. Uh, we'll see um, how this rolls, but yeah, we could temporarily engrave this. Okay, so we have uh, actually 16 speed. So we're gonna run the 16 speed um, just to look at that and see how that improves our monster, okay? So now we're gonna look at um, our four slot. So we want, for a support monster, we want HP. So let's look at either HP or speed. First, we're gonna look at HP. Hopefully there's a rune we can use. Let's see this. Is this a rune we can use? No. So this is a 10 and then it's a, it's a change. It's a beneficial change. So it's up to two speed. Um, that's fine. But we actually might want to start looking at other 
you're in set. So let's just change it all just for the sake, because we're just looking for stats. That's the major thing. We want to get our swift set uh, for Bernard, but we also want to make sure we're utilizing the stats, getting much as possible out of the stats. So let's see, we have 13 speed here. Um, so so let's look at, let's hold this up right here. So we have 8 speed, um, or that previous speed, where is that? Uh, so we have 10 speed right there, and then so let's see can we find above 10 speed that's what we're looking at right here we're looking for anything above 10 speed uh, which would be really great with that HP main stat um, so remember always make sure you're placing that main stat right there just to have that priority there what kind of stats you're looking for too so 9 speed 11 speed only one up 8 speed 13 speed 8 speed again 10 speed again 6 speed let's see was there any other rune 11 speed not enough uh, 5 speed, 14 speed, okay, 15 speed, okay, so we have 15 speed here, so let's just engrave that temporarily, as you see, we got a, we got a decent boost of a few speed there, and then we're going to go look at our 5 now, so this one, again, we have to change it all because um, it's just going to be like that, so speed, we'll look for speed again. Um, a great change for this would be if they can set like a counter. So this is kind of my suggestion um, to further improve the beneficial um, utilization of this rune optimizer is if Comptus can add like an indicator. Is this how many rolls it can roll? That'd be nice. So a little small little indicator saying one plus roll, two plus roll, three plus roll. So it kind of indicator, uh, okay, it'll run one time, roll two times, roll three times. What does that mean by that? That means is it a magic rune is it a rare rune is it a hero rune or is it a legend rune okay so that's what we're looking at there okay so let's continue our search for that one slot so we have a tense here Ooh, so we have 18 speed here so let's let's try that so let's um temporary put that on there um yeah okay so we're looking at oh 19 speed so we have we found an even better one and it's a swift too so yeah so we got to make sure that either so 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 right now we have four on our temporary swift okay so we have our set in place now now let's look at our last rune so our last rune is going to be the kicker right here um and seeing uh what's going to be improving there um let's see so our f so we have a nine speed here this can completely be improved um a whole lot there's a lot so nine speed we can find something better than that definitely there's going to be rune there that we're going to see that we're going to want to put on so um let's continue our search here can we find it 16 speed 12 speed not enough speed um is there is there a speed out there um with the hp so let's also we can't forget we got to set our main stat to hp let's let's set our main stat at hp uh, just to improve our okay so 20 speed right here this is the maximum i i have right now but anything higher uh you should always put it on your fastest unit okay so let's engrave that right here let's see the changes guys so we have a massive increase of 74 stat um, increase in speed. So that's going to be uh, 165, 165 plus the base stat, 170, 176. So basically you have a 176 rune here. That's pretty decent. Um, number right there um, that's going to be really pushing the speed as you saw that's a huge jump in speed that's going to ensure that unit your units are going to be moving as fast as possible so that's going to be great when you're utilizing this monster bernard for your dungeons making sure he's getting as much speed as much turns as possible this is something you want to be looking at so right there if we were to apply it um it costs five five hundred fifty thousand so it's a little expensive to do it um, so just make sure you've been farming for a while, save that mana, and don't um, rune, uh, scale up runes that are not going to be very efficient for you guys. Um, so make sure you're looking at what's the properties you want for that specific unit. What role are they playing? What are they going to do for you beginner players so that you can improve uh, to that next level? Okay, so we saw the improvement there. You can always grind that later on. but when you're a lower player so when also as well if you're not looking at one specific stat um such as speed you also guys want to be looking at um let's say your have multiple stats you want right so you want speed so so that that root optimizer gave you a couple options such as um to look at one stat or two stats so 
what we did over there was we were just focusing on one stat, which was speed. That was our main priority. That was our main focus for Bernard. Um, but in other cases, you'll be focusing on speed plus another substat. Um, so that's what the, the part where you're going to be a little iffy, a little difficult. And it's going to be really up to you um, how much of utilization um, you think is going to help you, especially if your units, looking at your units, is are they too squishy? Are they a little too tanky? Can I, can I gimp something that is going to allow your monsters to improve? Not only improve, but make your runs more efficient. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it more safer and more efficient. So the faster the time and the more safer it is, is going to push you ahead of everyone else. Okay, guys? And and especially, never hold your your monsters back. Especially from the dungeon, never hold them back from the runes. They're going to need to improve your runs. So give them the most utilization possible for them to make your runs as safe as possible. Um, that's going to be very important. Uh, another DC here, but we're going to go back into it again. Um, just show you what I'm talking about when it comes to utilizing. Uh, let's look at Shannon. Um, we can see um, under utilizations and such and what we're talking about. Okay, so we're going to set it back to all. We're just going to be looking at one stat and just how much a drastic change. So we'll round up stat and grave. Okay. So looking at this, um, we're looking at Shannon, another support type unit that I showed my GB10 team fully farmable, fully free. Um, this unit, we see how many negatives. So you can even set yourself, have a pen, have a paper, um, write down how many negatives. So let's say this is a negative right here. This is one, two, three, four. This two, four negatives down there. Um, is that really worth your three positives? You gotta really think about it in your head um, after utilizing um, the substats. So speed substats, we want speed. Um, is that really, is that really something that is going to improve this monster when looking at this? So if we pick another rune like, let's say, is this rune on Veramos? Let's temporarily engrave this. So if you see here, still 2 plus and 3. Can we find another random rune out there that um, can possibly improve this monster? Engrave 3 and four um what your ideal situation here is okay so look at this this is something that's very ideal for you guys when you look at when you have when you're counting you make that counter for yourself and you say i only have two negatives and three positives so that's kind of ideal um we're setting for ourselves um especially if we're focusing on just stats because when you're a beginner player don't focus on really the sets as i talked about in my other video because the sets come later on when you've actually completed gp10 completed db10 and are ready figuring out what kind of things you want to experiment with okay but at this point you want to beat the gb10 that's your goal that's your achievement uh we want to beat it um we want to make our units utilized as much as possible and this is another way to think about it is looking at as basically kind of like in guild wars plus three plus two uh role kind of logic um how many how many benefits um so we got we want to be greedy here so in, in in guild wars you don't you can't be greedy when you're following a plus six rule you gotta follow the plus six uh but right here when it comes to runes we want to be greedy with our core units for our dungeon teams we want to see as much positives and as much stats as possible so even if per se we had uh, another negative right here so one two three four let's say this was a negative two if these stats are desirable and they outweigh the other stats then definitely replace it but this is just another easier way for you guys to figure out what you want to be replacing um your stat your, your other runes with right um figuring out which is going to give you the most utilization from this these sets okay that's what we're looking at here uh, when we're looking at these runes um see so when comparing these runes we were trying to look at the utilization there and seeing we have one two three three positive versus two that's a positive change change it okay guys that would be very beneficial to you guys just remember once again um there's there's a heavy cost there's a heavy price to pay when changing runes out um so just remember that um it's very important that you're keeping track of your mana. You want to be being as efficient as possible. Um, I always, over and over again, use your crystals for refills. They will improve you in a game. Um, so this is just my foresight for the beginner players um, um, and even mid-game players that are searching to improve themselves and using this utilization system and just um, 
how the effect. So just remember, um, so these there's you don't it wouldn't really um, destroy any of these other runes out here. Um, that. You see, you can even remove the temporary. You can even upgrade runes from here, which is great. Um, there's other things that can be tweaked, but other than that, this is a great change to the game. This is going to benefit you guys um, in the long run. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful for you guys understanding this um, utility that Comptus added in patch 3.51 of the Summoner's War um, server, um, global server, as well as the other servers as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like it. Leave suggestion. Um, leave some thoughts. Is this really going to change? I believe in my first foresight that some of the fighter uh, players who are going to be able to utilize it are going to be able to utilize it in such a way that they are going to push into that conqueror range. So thank you guys for uh, joining me here today. Um, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully we don't have too many disconnects. And thank you. Lates, guys.